Hey guys, it's Kay. So today we're starting off by moisturizing, which I already did. And now I'm making a tinted moisturizer um, and mixing my True Match foundation with some lotion. And I'm just going to rub this all over into my skin. This is my substitute because I didn't want to use a heavy, heavy foundation. Now I'm just concealing uh, my forehead, my nose, under my eyes, uh, my cupid's bow, and my chin. I'm blending that in with a beauty sponge. Now I'm just setting that with my setting powder. I don't know what the name of my setting powder is because the label rubbed off. But, yeah, so I know my face looks super ashy right now. We're just going to add some color back into it using my Contour Duo by Nyko K. Um, and we're just going to start off with the lighter shade to add some warmth and then to deepen everything with the darker shade. I'm going to start off with the brows. So we're just going to brush those down and then outline them. If you guys want an updated brow routine, because it has changed since uh, fall break, I think, when I filmed that brow routine. So let me know if you want to see an updated one. This one takes a little bit longer, but I feel like it gives better results than what I used to do. And plus, I changed the shape of how I used to do my brows. So just let me know down below in the comments if you would like to see how I do my brows now. Right now my eyebrows look like hairy beast, but we're just going to take that concealer and clean everything up and you'll see a dramatic change. I'm not good at filling in my brows, I'm good at concealing my brows. I like to say that all the time because as you can see the difference is crazy. I'm just really good at concealing them. Now I just like to go back in with a little bit of black on my brow to just to extend the tails on the end of my brows but other than that I'm just blending in my concealer with my finger and then we're ready to move on. Um, I'm just adding some more warmth back into my face. Now I'm just taking my tape and putting that on the corner edge of my eye just to give a guideline for this cut crease that we're doing just to make sure that we keep everything nice and complete. It would probably make more sense for you to put the tape on before you do all of your foundation and do your eye makeup before that, but I wasn't thinking and ended up doing it anyway. So I just concealed my lids and I'm setting it with a skin toned eyeshadow. Now I'm taking a deeper brown shade and putting that into my crease. And I'm just going to cut out and shape out the line that I want my cut crease to fall on. Now I'm taking some red and putting that over top. I really want that red to be vibrant so as you can see I just keep going back in and building it. But now I'm just going to blend it out so that it doesn't look too crazy. We're going to blend out those harsh lines and make everything look more complete and smooth and neat. I'm just taking that lighter brown shade just to help blend out everything, just to diffuse the color and blend out that line. Now I'm just concealing my lids and I'm just going to clean up my eyelids and carve out that cut crease again. Um, just to make sure that that cut stays very prominent and yeah I just like I can hear myself and I sound very nasal I'm very sick so I'm sorry that this voiceover sounds terrible but 
but I'm trying. Right here, I'm just taking a like off-white eyeshadow and setting that concealer in place with it. Um, later in the video, I did actually add just a white instead of an off-white, but you could do it either way. I ended up liking it better with the white, but if you like it better with the off-white, you can do it whichever way you want to. So it's kind of like a cream shade that I'm putting on now. Taking my green eyeshadow now and carving out that shape even more. And this is just another way to add in that green. Y'all know in these holiday makeup tutorials, I've been adding that pop of green. So that's what I'm doing now. This took a good bit of time because I kept like mixing the shades. So it took time like going back and forth and like leveling everything out so everything stayed in place. But after it all was done, it all looked good. So it just takes a little bit of time and going back and forth. Here, this is where I'm going back in with the white. Now I'm just blending it out again with that brown shade just to fuse everything out. I already did my eyeliner off camera. It just was too much of a tedious job to do on camera. I'm ripping off the tape now and it's time to put on some mascara. I'm just putting it on the top lashes for now and then I'm just going to that white color in my inner corner. Um, I didn't show this on camera but I put a little bit of red under my eyes. Here I added way too much blush and I don't know what I was doing but it was terrible. It took me some time to like diffuse that out, but yeah. Um, and after I put the red under my eye, I um, added the mascara on my lower lash line. So yeah, so here I'm just trying to diffuse this lash out. So I'm showing you guys what I was doing to kind of diffuse it. I just took a lighter brown shade and put it over top to diffuse it. So now I'm just adding some highlights onto my cheekbones. Gotta have that nice pop down the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose on my cupid's bow. And yeah. Now I'm moving on to a lipstick. The reason why I was using a brush is because I was using my mom's lipstick and she's really picky about that stuff. So, you know, I just used the brush to apply it. But, you know, you could just go right ahead. So I'm just outlining my lips and then I'm going to fill it. Now, I wanted it to be kind of ombre in the middle, so I took a little concealer that I Ooh, yeah. Sassy. So, yeah, that's it for the makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know down below in the comments again if you'd like to see an updated brow routine. Let me know how you've been liking my Christmas marathon or my holiday marathon, and yeah. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow. Love you. Bye, guys.